Hey, Kara here. We are going to be working on a twisty warm up today. A lot of times when we get stressed or we sit a lot or we're holding a baby or we're on our computers, we tend to get really tight through all of our twisters. Um, some of the main twisters in, in our body are our hips and our rib cage. If our hips aren't mobile, we tend to borrow mobility from our low back, which should be really stable, or our knees, which should be really stable. If we're really tight in our rib cage and our thoracic spine, we tend to borrow mobility from our low back again, or from our shoulders or our uh, scapula, which should be a little bit more stable. So it's really important to keep these things moving. And so this is just a quick way to sort of either warm up for a workout or just warm up for your day if you're feeling kind of stiff. So go ahead and come down onto the floor. You don't need any equipment. You're gonna first come into a 90-90 position. You can sort of see why it is called that way. My front leg here is at a 90 degrees. My back leg is at a 90 degrees, and really my crotch here is at a 90 degrees as well. So go ahead, keep your hands down on the floor, just so that when we're doing this stretch, it can all be about the hips, and you're not super worried about trying to crunch with your core in order to control these movements. So staying nice and tall with your chest, you're gonna use this leg here to pull yourself down into a nice big stretch. Find the end range of motion. Keep squeezing until you can't go no more. And then push that leg into the ground and push yourself up. Now we're gonna go into the back leg. This back leg is going to drive forward, pulling our chest back towards the foot. And then we're gonna kick out of that, squeezing our butt, until we get a nice stretch through the hip here. Let's do that again. Pulling forward, finding that end range of motion all the way down. Keep squeezing until you find your end range and push back. And then pulling back into that back leg. Pull, pull, pull. And push out of it. You can pause me here to do a few more if you want, or you can go on to the other side with me. So over to the other side, finding that 90-90 position, nice and tall, squeezing yourself forward all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you can't pull forward anymore, and then push into the ground to push yourself back up. And then again, this back leg is gonna be the one doing the work. It pulls you back like you're trying to sit that glute down onto the floor, swivel your chest, and then you kick back and push out of it. Again, pull forward, come all the way down, nice big stretch, push back, and then pull yourself back with this back leg and push right out of it. We're gonna go back to the first side, still in that 90-90 position, and then we're just going to close it up. So your front foot right against the back knee and the back leg can close up as well. So here we're gonna start incorporating the hips and the thoracic spine in with one another. So taking your hands, you're gonna walk your hands out over that front knee. Keep walking until you feel a stretch, not only through the glute, but also up into your ribs. And then from there, take some nice deep breaths, pulling air down into your rib cage, expanding the rib cage and using the breath to increase the stretch. You might feel these, the stretch in those intercostal muscles in your ribs. You might feel the stretch expand down into your low back or your hips. All of that is good as long as there is no pain. A couple really deep breaths like that. Then we're gonna twist on over to the side and now you're gonna reach out over that thigh. Reaching, reaching, reaching as far as you can 
and you're going to have do those deep breaths again. Three deep breaths using the inhale to fill up your lungs and the exhale to release more into the stretch. Now these, these inhales and exhales don't come up into your neck and shoulders. They actually come down and expand through a relaxed belly and a relaxed pelvic floor. Big inhale, relax, and exhale, relax into the stretch a little, a little more. Okay, walk yourself back up. Here's the last one. You're gonna twist as far as you can over that back leg. And then that arm, I'm gonna twist a little so you can see me. And then that arm is just going to slide out until you're on the elbow. From there, you're gonna take the top arm and reach overhead, getting this nice, beautiful stretch all the way up the front of the abdomen and the hip flexor. And now we're breathing into the front of the hip here. So nice big breaths, inhale, relax and expand that belly and exhale. Imagine that your lungs were like a plunger in a syringe, just pulling that air down into your body. Big inhale and exhale. One more time. And let's do that on the other side. So over into the other side, you've got your 90-90, closing it up. You're gonna reach over the knee and the shin here, rounding the back, letting the, the stretch come into the whole back of the body, and then big inhales. Inhale, relax the back, relax the belly, relax the pelvic floor, and exhale, let yourself sink into the stretch. And again, big inhale, and exhale. One more time, big inhale, and exhale. Walk yourself back up, and now we're going to rotate over the thigh of the front leg and walk ourselves out there. Now you might start feeling a little more stretch in your twisters here. And nice big inhale and exhale. Two more times like that. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Walking yourself back up. We're going to twist as far as we can over that back, that front leg. And then from there, that arm slides up to the side until you come down onto your elbow. Let me twist so that you can see me. Twisting and coming down. So right here, I already have a good stretch here in the front of my hip. Then I bring that arm up and over and nice big inhale and exhale. You might be able to see my tummy expand as I inhale and collapse as I exhale. Bringing that air down into the belly. Good. Coming on out of that, the last thing here, we're going to lay all the way down into a child's pose. Here, you're gonna take your knees above the hip crease and your bottom arm is gonna hold on to that top knee. The top arm is going to reach out in front of you, reach to the ceiling, and then just relax your rib cage onto the floor. And then again, reach and relax. It's more important for your rib cage to reach the floor than it is for your hand. So if you find that you're a long ways from the floor and you're feeling this mostly in the shoulder, grab the ribs 
and then do it that way. Twisting. Reach. And one more time. You might find that as you do this, each time you can get a little bit further. All right, so let's go to the other side. Coming down, pulling my knees above my hip crease, grabbing onto the knee, reaching forward, and twisting. And again. Remember, if this is too much shoulder and not enough rib cage, change it up by shortening that lever and just rotating with the ribs. One more time. Okay, that is your twisty warm up. Hopefully, you feel a lot better ready for your day or your workout, however you're choosing to use this today.